In this video, I'm gonna show you all the deals I got during the Black Friday weekend. Now I've been really excited to make this video, mostly because I've had a huge pile of stuff over there just compiling. I might've opened one or two packages, but most of it's unopened and we're gonna go through all of that right now. Let's go get the first package. Okay, so first package we have is from Newegg. Small little guy. All right, what's in here? Sushi, apparently. Okay, awesome. Okay, I know what this is actually. This is uh, one of the CPU coolers I got on a new egg flash sale. I got it for, I believe, $15. And usually, I think this goes for about 30 bucks, maybe 25. This is actually a pretty good deal. I think I'm gonna throw this in like a cheap Craigslist budget build or something like that in the future. Could maybe handle some baby overclocking. Okay, this one, I might have peeked inside. This one is from Amazon. This one is, oh, take a look at that. Ooh, I'm so excited. So this is my i5-8600K that I ordered, I think just a little bit before Black Friday. I saw it go on sale for 270. So I jumped on that. Even now, 270 is like a pretty solid price for this one. You guys probably already know everything about this. Six cores, only six threads, so it doesn't do the hyper threading. But I do a lot of editing. I do play some games, but primarily just editing is what I do on my computer. And six cores is more than enough to get some really quick render times. It is Coffee Lake, and I do want to stay as up to date as possible as I can with technology, you know, as much as my wallet will allow me to. Okay. Ugh. This is a big one. Oh. Ooh, it's a big dad. More Asian looking foods. Oh, what's this? Cooking as easy as it gets. $30 gift card? Oh, oh, that's so nice. Oh, baby. Let's go. God, I'm so excited for this. So this is the Asus Prime. This is the Asus Prime uh, Z370A. Really awesome motherboard. It's gonna be able to handle the overclocking that I'm gonna wanna do to the 8600K. The architecture's really sick. It's got really nice RGB color scheme going on. God, this thing looks so sick. Ah, what did I get this for? I think I had to pay like full MSRP for the motherboard, um, but I didn't really have a choice because I figured with this being my own first build for my own personal rig that I would splurge and get a nice looking motherboard as well as, you know, one obviously that can handle what I want to do to the processor. I, I'm just really happy about it. Next we have the cooler I'm going to use. I was a little cheap on the cooler, but this came at a pretty solid price. I think I got this for 60 bucks. It's an H60 uh, CPU water cooler from Corsair. Liquid coolers, liquid coolers. And the next thing, whoo, whoo, whoo. This looks so sick. Okay, now I have two eight gigabyte sticks of the Trident Z from G-Skill. Some of you guys might've seen this. This actually did go on sale, not necessarily through Black Friday, but I think right beforehand. I got 16 gigabytes of this stuff for $165. So I think these go for like over $200 usually. God, man, this thing looks so cool. I wanna take it out right now. Nerdgasm. Okay, last thing coming out of the big box, my Seasonic Focus Gold 650 semi-modular power supply. Let's well, it's semi-modular, right? Oh, it's fully modular, even better. This is gold certified. It's gonna be as power efficient as I could possibly get. I don't think I got this for a deal. I'm pretty sure that I was looking for a deal on a power supply, and then I was thinking, well, you know, power supplies are not supposed to be cheap because if you get one that's cheap, there's probably something wrong with it. And if you have something go wrong with your power supply, it could fry all the other parts in your computer. And considering how much money I'm spending on my first rig, which is, you know, still gonna be a deal. I'm gonna cover that in a future video. I just, I, I wouldn't have felt good about throwing a cheap power supply inside of there. The packaging looks sick. It's got these nice little uh, gold elements coming on it. I don't know if you can see it. Big box here. Based off of looking at it, you can probably tell what this is gonna be. I talked about this case in the Black Friday deals uh, video. You know, I read some reviews. Apparently it doesn't have that great of airflow, but $20 is $20. Uh, okay, getting off camera for this one. Let's see. I feel like I'm holding a little baby. All right, it's got like a nice little red metallic here at the bottom. Power button, little click sound. 
Got that nice little tempered glass. I mean, not a bad looking case. Looks nice, a um, little tiny, but you know, $20 for tempered glass and something that'll fit like a typical black and red gaming uh, computer design. I think it's pretty solid. Another package from Newegg. Get out. Yeah, this was all the stuff that I actually ordered, I think specifically on Black Friday. 120 gigabyte SSD, got some thermal paste. I'll try to put these over here so you can see. Patriot Burst SSD, this is Arctic thermal paste. I don't have a specific brand I like to use for thermal paste. I just use whatever's around. PCI mini to Wi-Fi. This is gonna be used for any crappy old motherboard that doesn't already come with Wi-Fi. Oh yes, okay, so this is actually gonna go in my personal system. This is a 480 SSD um, from Patriot as well. This is the Ignite model. I have no personal experience with this. I really, really, really tried to get a better deal on an SSD, but as a lot of you guys probably know if you follow any of the uh, deal finding websites, there really wasn't like a great, awesome deal on SSDs, except for the one on Fry's on Black Friday. I think it was 500 gigabyte SSD for like 100 bucks or something like that, but I could not get that deal for the life of me. I was refreshing the page on fries and none of my none of my orders went through. Oh, and I got it for what did I get this for? I got it. I think I think I paid like 120 bucks for it. So not the best deal, but you know, I needed an SSD and it was somewhat discounted. I think it usually goes for like 130, 135. So also, the last thing that was really, really catching my eye on the uh, the Newegg Black Friday deals were these EVGA 450 BT power supplies. 10 bucks for each of these. Obviously, you know, mail-in rebate. I think they only cost me $20, which is still cheaper than what these usually go for. Do I have anything else to show you? I think... I think I will leave those for a surprise in the future. I, I'll show you one other thing that I got that was... Black Friday-ish. This is a Craigslist steal, so a little grimy, no packaging, but I got a, what is this? <laughs> I got an EVGA 950, I think this is just the super clocked version, uh, graphics card for 80 bucks. This is a really good deal. You can probably find these for like 120 used pretty safely, but they usually go for around 150 retail, I'm pretty sure, so I got this for about half. Overall, it's a solid card. It's not amazing by any means, but for $80, I think it is amazing. So I'm looking forward to using it and throwing it in my system. If it sucks, I can just take the 1060 I'm using right now and throw it in my new computer that I'm gonna build really soon. And yeah, that about wraps up this video. I have all this crap here laying on the floor. I'm really excited to throw it together and put it in a computer build video for you guys to watch. For all the new subscribers that came in after the Black Friday computer video, I just wanna thank you guys so much for joining. You're gonna see a lot more content like that. If you want to, just comment and let me know so I can know to do that. But you're also gonna see a lot more content with all of this stuff that I just got, plus some Craigslist deals I'm working on at the moment. But yeah, I really just wanted to thank you all for supporting this you know, computer project passion of mine. And like always, have a great day.